So at this point, um, I'm taking a photo, and it's displaying on screen. Kind of. It's really big. I didn't really specify any sizes and such. Uh, we can do it a couple of ways. We can go to the documentation of Cordova and see what options we have for file sizes and such. Well, technically what we could do is we're saving, we're taking the photo, we could then save it to the user's device and then simply display the photo at an appropriate size. We've never specified a size here or an original capture size. Well, via CSS, what I want to do is change the size of that picture that appears. I don't really want to change the size of the picture itself. If I put in camera options here to say, take the photo at 600 by 600, well, I've just taken a photo that is always 600 by 600. It's, I've lost all of the data out of the camera sensor. So I'm going to leave the size of the photo as is. I'm not going to change an option for that. I want to capture the photo with the full resolution of the photo. Uh, instead, I just want to change the size of it displaying on screen, CSS. So we're going to open up our CSS file for this project. Remember, we've got a CSS file where we're storing all of our CSS code in one place. So inside of the CSS folder of the project, we have index.css. Let's open that. Index.css in the CSS folder. We'll go all the way to the bottom. Give yourself a couple of empty lines there, line 59. We're going to write some CSS code to apply to this image. Well, every image we want to resize, perhaps. Uh, so most likely then that means I want to write a class so that I can reuse this code over and over. That means it starts off with a dot and we'll call this maybe this is defining a class so it's a dot image cam size. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to forget what I called it two seconds later. I'm going to copy that for the moment, we'll say uh, with uh, the width property um, one uh, one hundred percent. We'll see what well we'll see seventy five percent. We can play with this. We don't know what it looks like yet. So we're say we're gonna make some image that we're getting out of the camera seventy five percent sized. Maybe it's still too big, too small. Maybe we need more editing. We'll see. But the point is that I want to attach the CSS to the image. We can do it a couple of ways. We'll do this via JavaScript. We'll dynamically apply this JavaScript to that image at the moment that we capture the image. If you recall on the index file, we've got a placeholder here. And yes, don't do this, but we could do class equals whatever I call this. No. As I said, I want to do this dynamically. Whenever I want, I want to apply that class after the fact. Just another for another way to do it, to think about doing this. So we're going to leave alone our image, but we're going to apply that class via JavaScript. Go back to the JavaScript file. We've got the on success. We're saying take a photo, show the photo. In the image object, set the source property to the location of the image, the address to the image, in line 25. We've got the image object, the image object. Now we're going to say dot class name capital N. This is a property of the image object class name. 